Hello, Ryan here. Today I'm going to talk to you about how you can use your GoPro camera with a helmet so that you can get some amazing footage hands free from when you're kite surfing, paddle boarding, or doing whatever. My wife laughs at me because I keep telling her she's got a candle business and I keep telling her that I think what she should do is when she's making candles she should put the, the helmet cam on and uh, so that people can kind of see how she does what she does I don't know I think it's a good idea anyway this is the helmet cam or this is the helmet it's called it's the Protec helmet I bought it at my lo local kite surfing shop Jupiter kiteboarding great shop by the way and you can see this is the GoPro the HD hero cam and I, one of the reasons why I actually figured this out is because I was just, uh, I really wanted to, I, I wanted people to experience what it was like to actually kite surf and to, and to fly with me, like as if I, they're with me and they're looking through my eyes. And the cool thing about this is that, is that it really has taken it beyond even that. What I, what I find myself doing a lot of times is because I'm hands free, I forget that the helmet's even on. And I just, I, what I end up doing is, is I end up getting some really amazing video of my friends that are out there what, kite surfing with me. So, uh, and then I, I find myself like putting my head down to frame the shot and, you know, moving my body in order to, in order to get video of, of other people that are, that are kite surfing with me. So it, it's really, it's really a, this is a, a great way to use your, your GoPro camera. And um, what I'm going to be using is is this it's the, the helmet attachment. I think I, I don't know if it's if it's called the helmet attachment, but this is what it looks like. It's a it's a very simple attachment, and I'll be showing you some some closer up pictures in the video. But this is basically what it what it is. It's just got you can see it's just got these two um, flip attachments here that that allow you to kind of uh, cinch down the uh, the you know this to the to the helmet and it really works very simply and, and the reason I actually I highly recommend this particular helmet because it's got just the right spacing for this attachment to fit on here just right and this attachment works great because it's got some so it, it's got a almost a rubbery type surface on the bottom of it that allows it to not slide or move around when you're you know when you're out there kite surfing the last thing you want to do is have your your camera bopping around when you're when you're kiting so what you got to do is just is just basically take take this take the attachment and you've got to shove you've got to put the strap through there put the strap this other the other strap through there so you can kind of see that it's coming through inside there and you can see how it's it's just right at the right at the front of the of the helmet and then basically all I'm doing is I'm just feeding the straps through the other side and having them come out the other end so I take one strap and have it come out the end and do the same thing with the other strap and you can see here that what I have is I end up having two straps that come through the two holes and you can see how again how it's spaced just right so then I I put the, the strap through the the uh, the cinch on that side and then I put the other strap through the other cinch on this side and then you pull you pull the, the straps away from each other and you just pull the, the cinches down and voila, you've got it attached and it's not going to slide. That is pretty much perfect. Now the only thing you want to do is you want to make sure that this, that inside here, you don't have too much of a bump because this is going to be against your head when you're, when you're kite surfing. So what I do is, is the extra strap is I just kind of, I kind of just flatten it out inside there and I force it through the other hole so hopefully that makes sense it's you'll see as you you just got to play with it but basically you just want to make it so that it's comfortable for you and in the end you've got something that you know that's pretty much out of your way 
I mean, you can see that I, I just leave the other attachments there. You can kind of see that's what you end, you end up with. And I'll put it on, you can see. There you go. That's, so it goes on great. The other thing I want to show you is, is, is how the camera actually goes on here. So you can see that I take the camera and I slide it on there just like that. And by the way, I have this, this is the attachment that I use. It's, it's, the, it's kind of like a telescoping attachment. I'll put the, the links below in the, in the video, but you know, it, it, it allows you to have some play with the camera itself. You can move it forwards and backwards. And, and the reason why I like this is because with this attached on my helmet, I can actually slide it down if it wasn't catching with that, I can slide this down and actually look at the camera to make any adjustments that I need to if I need to make any adjustments to the camera. So I can, you can see I've, I have all the buttons accessible this way. So this is why I, I use this particular attachment as opposed to just a, a plain attachment like this. You know, it's because it gives me more flexibility to move the camera around on the helmet itself. So I hope that makes sense. And you definitely want to use the longer um, you want to use the longer attachment here so it's easier to crank this as opposed to the shorter stubbier one like this one. On this one it doesn't matter because it's, you can easily accept, you know, get, get to it, but this one you want to make sure it's longer so you can very easily crank down on it when you need to. So I hope that makes sense. Um, here I'm going to put this on here so you can kind of see how, it's, how it fits. It just it just clips right on there like that. Now you want to make sure that the camera is positioned in a way that's looking directly ahead. So obviously, or as close to directly ahead as possible. So you can see that that's, a, that's facing a little bit down. So you'd want to adjust, I'd want to adjust that up just a little bit more so that it's, there you go. That's about right. And there you go. There's the camera on the helmet, and you can see that if you know if I need to, I can slide the, the camera down, and I can get access to any of the buttons here, and I can see if the camera's actually recording. I could actually even get a goofy shot of myself that way if I wanted to. I don't know why you would, but anyway, that's it. And this, I highly recommend that you you attach right here that you put some sort of another strap to attach this, this part of the, this um, loop to a string or something else that's attached to the helmet, just in case for whatever reason, which I don't think is gonna happen, but just in case for whatever reason, these clips undo. I've never had it happen. I've used this for hours and hours and hours, but you know, it's a $350, $400 camera. So, you know, I highly recommend that you attach this to something else so that worst case scenario this comes off you still have the camera attached to the helmet so I hope that makes sense I know it's kind of a long video but I know I look like a goofball right now but uh, taking the taking that off I hope that was helpful to you if you have any questions feel free to uh, give me a call or um, let me know and let me know if you have any other questions about this video and any other questions that have to do with the GoPro in general and how to, uh, how to attach it to uh, different, different items that you might use when you're kite surfing or paddle boarding. Thanks, bye.